Hello, welcome. Another fishing planet video. Right now we're at St. Croix Lake. Um, I don't remember how much it costs. I don't remember what the heck the fishing license is. You're just here to see how to make the most money at this lake. Really simple. What we're going to be catching. Northern Pike. Uh, you've probably caught these before at other lakes, possibly, but they, you could only catch them in common and trophy. Now we go all the way up to Unique, and they're very, very expensive. Uh, you can get a lot of money for just one. And as you can see here, we're like at the peak of our day. We're going to catch a northern pike. Rods I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this Laker Pro 13 foot 2 inch with a number one hot hook. Some shiners. You can use any other fish you want. But I recommend shiners. They work the best. Metal leader because they do have sharp teeth. They can break it off the really big ones. And then whatever. You should be able to know what you, what you have and what you need for these fish because they do get kind of big and are kind of strong. So we're going to go out here. I have the advanced fishing license. Um, you're going to spawn here at first, and what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way to the other side. So real quickly, run over there. Just got to follow this little path all the way over there. And now this is how you just earn the most money on St. Croix Lake in Michigan. And that's it. Pretty simple. Really easy. You don't need very much stuff. Um, you'll get five all the way up to the thousands of dollars for a fish. Or five hundreds of thousand, pretty much. I'm going to take my little rod stand. Honestly, you'll probably be catching them so quick you won't even be able to use a rod stand. Now you're going to kind of like look in between these two bushes here once you get over here. And you're just going to kind of see this like little area right in there. And you're only going to cast out so far. It's only going to be like 60 feet, 50 feet to 60 feet. And that's all you really need and you're good to go. Now one problem I have had is it will get caught on those lily pads because you're basically just casting right on the edge of the lily pads. And it's just kind of falling back underneath them. And these northern pike, I guess they just like to be in that area. Now this pole, we won't catch as many fish because it does have a number four ot hook on it. And you really want like a number one ot to really catch the most as possible. But a number four ot will catch mostly just big fish. And now while we wait, what I like to do, I like to get this pole with a three-fourths ounce popper. And I just like to go down to this bay here. And I just cast right along this edge. And you don't really catch too many fish, but it, it's something to waste the time while you listen for those bells in the background. And we got a fish. And this isn't even a fish that I'm that worried about because I don't honestly think it'll earn as much money as the Northern Pike. But, it's a fish, nonetheless. Well, maybe we can reel it in. Maybe not. Oh, and as you can see, we're getting some bells going off, but I'm trying to just get this fish in. Maybe. Here we go. So we got this fish in. It is a northern pike. You can see $900. And now we switch to this one, which should be a pretty big fish. Since we caught it on the number four out hook, uh, I don't know if it's going to be that big. This is kind of a powerful reel, but yeah, this is just going to take forever to reel in. <laughs> See, really, you can catch a northern pike from preferably you'll catch the most of them at a number one out hook. And then you can go all the way up to a number four, like what I'm doing right now. 
to catch slightly bigger ones. And clearly, the bigger the hook, really the bigger the fish. But sometimes you can just get lucky on a small hook, and sometimes you can get really unlucky on even just a big hook. So it's really just preference on how quickly you want to catch fish, because you will definitely catch quicker fish on a number one on You could probably split the difference, go with a number two, and then you'd probably be catching pretty good fish. Now you want to have a pretty decent sized net. But really, that's all there is to it. You're just kind of just sitting here chilling, catching fish one minute after the other, and then you're making money so fast that you're already paying for like your extended day and your fishing license within probably 30 minutes. If that, honestly, in 15 minutes, you could probably fill, I could probably fill up my whole fish cabin, M plus or whatever. Like I could fill it all the way up and be good to go and move on to the next day and catch even more. It's really easy. It's really simple. And this fish is absolutely massive and taking forever to reel in. And I'm honestly getting bored. But, I mean, yeah, it, it's really just that simple. And so all you got to do now, get off this stupid video and go catch fish. It's pretty simple. It's not hard. It's not complicated. This is what you do. There's no other way to catch or there's other ways to catch fish clearly on this map. There's tons of other fish on this map. Tons of them. You can go off and exploring and catch every single fish in the entire map. But if you want to make the most money, you're going to go and you're going to do this. And it's pretty easy. And anybody can do it, really. You don't need that much stuff. And these fish, yes, sometimes they can pull like this. And this is a pretty nice rod and reel. They can pull pretty hard. And they can sometimes just snap line instantly. But as long as you have something to where you know your line's not going to snap. Like right now, my line cannot snap. My pole cannot break. You're set. And just like that... After a little bit, they get tired pretty quick, and you've just caught a $1,200 fish that weighs 15 and a half pounds. You get a lot of money for these fish. You get a decent bit of XP, and it really is just one of the best ways to get A, XP, and B, money, which is really what you need. And it's where the game gets a lot easier. So anyways, that's how you do it. In this little short thing, we've caught two fish. We caught one on the popper, which is what I like to do just kind of like for fun to waste some time. It was nine pounds, $900. We caught a trophy northern pike, 15 pounds, $1,200. Take with that what you will. I used this rod and reel setup over here. And then I also use wherever it is, this other rod and reel that's on the stand so you can't really see it as well. And then that's all I use. That's it. It's easy. Here's my um, little bass pole that I got going on for the other ones. And that's all there is to it. Really. Super simple. Super easy. Super quick. So I guess have a good one. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want. But go catch some more fish. And stop sitting here on this video and go catch the stupid fish. Okay? Come on. It's easy. And I'll be making more videos like this one, basically just exploiting Fishing Planet and getting the most money out of every single lake. See ya.